Hey guys and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today, the 18th of July 2013. Now, this is probably not going to be a regular daily, it's more just going to be me talking about the pricing of the helms and stuff that's coming out. Uh, essentially, the reason why this is not going to be a uber fantastic normal show is because I was out last night and my head's sore, so yeah, and I have to raid soon. But anyway, pricing of the helms. Now, there's already a 16 page in the US forums, and I really am only going off the US forums because the EU ones just don't seem to get as much traction as the American ones do. Now, a lot of people are saying that, you know, 12 is too much and if you extrapolate out this $12 cost to say a helm, a cloak, shoulders, you know the traditional bits of gear that are really the memor the you know the memorable slot then people are saying you're looking at like $40, $50 um, for for a set of gear based on this pricing now I think that's interesting um, in a way that people say that because it's not really the model where you pay like for a set of gear, these items seem to be more of a one-off thing, but still I do see their point. And I think personally that twelve dollars or sorry, fifteen dollars or twelve euros, ten pounds is absolutely ridiculous for an item like this. Because at the end of the day, if like think of the value proposition the Blizzard is giving you. You get to look a little bit cooler. Of course, subjectively you get to look a little bit cooler. And fifteen dollars. Now if you think of other things, you know, for similar money you can be buying mounts, you can buy pets, and at least a pet you know, as much as I am, I would rail against the buying of these pets, I do at least think that with these pets, you can take them out and you can use them in-game and enjoy them, they can have a gameplay benefit, so you're getting something that is worth your money. Now, whether I think that a gameplay thing like that should be for sale, I don't, but that's besides the point, that's just really an off, sort of off-spin of the pet battle system. But onto these helms, I just think that there's no real... there's no real reason that they should be this expensive, and it's actually doing Blizzard a disservice to themselves. Now, I think that two of these actually look really cool, and if these were, say, a hard rep grind or something that was really, you know, prestige to get in the game, then I'd absolutely try to go for the two that I think are cool, which are the shadowy one and the ice one. Not really so hot in the fire one, but whatever. But by making these, by having these for sale, it sort of cheapens the experience of, of gear in the game. Uh, which which I think is a problem, especially in an MMO. Now, if you take something like Tribes Ascent, which is a free-to-play game, you could buy, like, a costume pack or something like that. But really, it didn't matter, because in Tribes, or, you know, similar games, what you're really invested in is your own personal skill at shooting dudes with a gun. But in World of Warcraft, you're invested in your character, your guy, and what your guy looks like is a manifestation of all the work that you've put in. And, I, you know, personally, I think that it really cheapens the experience that you can buy gear like this. Um, and, you know, this even echoes, I think it was Rob Pardo back in 2006, he was talking about microtransactions, and he said he never wanted them to be in the game. Rob Pardo at the time was the VP of Game Design at Blizzard. I think he's still there, very high up, but anyway. And um, he said that, basically, it was the sort of thing where he believed that it would fundamentally cheapen the experience. Now, since then, that's been seven years. That's a long time, and the market has changed. The way business is done with games has changed. But I still think that from a gameplay, you know, game perspective, it hasn't changed it, it does cheapen characters. So, I think that's certainly a problem, it sort of cheapens gear as a whole, and, you know, if you're the sort of person you're running around with these things, it nearly labels you, doesn't it? People think, oh, look at him, he paid $15, or she, or whatever. Um, so that's one thing. Now, the second thing is price, and why I think that it's a little bit logical for it to be so expensive. Now, the first thing is, I do understand the Blizzard want all these store items to maintain a certain air of exclusivity, exclusivity, because if these were $1 and everyone had them, what would be the point in buying one, right? So I think that's fair enough. So don't have them dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, because that would just be ridiculous. But having them being so expensive, like, you could play World of Warcraft for a month, um, instead of getting one of these things. You could have, like, what, if you play 15 hours a week, you could have, like, 60 hours of game for the price of, like, one of these virtual fake helms. So there's one thing, and it means that the higher the price they put it, the more people will say, you're just money-grubbing. If, if Blizzard made this, say, $8, people would probably think, oh, well, that's cool, they're adding it in, this $8 is perhaps subsidizing the, you know, the extra artwork that went into it, or something like that, that's what people would think, and the general perception would be better than what they've managed to garner themselves now, and I think it was also very bad timing, the fact that they were talking about, yeah, we're going to, in Asia, have all this, like, pretty much, not pay-to-win stuff, but, you know, straddling the line, and then right after that, they're saying, oh, by the way, we're going to sell you new things in, uh, in the European regions, so that was a little bit of bad PR, but yeah, pricing, I think it should be a bit cheaper, essentially, because if they do start escalating this more, is, you know, is the Blizzard store stuff just going to be like the rich kid corner? You know, where people just who have, like, 
loads of money can go deck their character out so that they look awesome they can walk around in the game like freaking pimp daddies or something that is a little bit weird to me so yeah i, I know this is like not being the most probably the most like um well said video or most like uh you know sort of not constructive argument what i mean like you know my argument probably doesn't have the best flow but I think you get the general idea of what I think. I think they've really grossly mismanaged the store stuff because they could have done this in a way that would garner a lot better community perception than it has. If these things came in cheaper, if they, you know, announced them at far better times than what they have, then really for Blizzard it would be better because they would still have sort of community perception and at the end of the day a lot of people are going to say, and people are like this, that was cool but F you Blizzard, I'm not buying it because all the shit you're bringing into our game. There's forum threads raging all over the place. There's a lot of people in-game, even in trade chat I see it, that are angry over stuff like this. And really, having cosmetic items is not something people usually get angry about in a game. Now it is a subscription game, but it's World of Warcraft. It seems to be able to pull off things that other games couldn't. So, yeah, I don't know. I For this episode, let's just have a dialogue between everybody. If you have opinions in this that you want to share, or you think they're worth sharing, whatever, then do leave them in the comments and we can all like talk and stuff and um, as for tomorrow's content I'll be going on a, like pretty much all day doing video streaming all that stuff and um, so we can get a nice big back, ca back, back catalog of things ready to go as it stands though today I've been really busy and hungover at the same time which is why today's videos have not really been uh, that numerous but anyway that's it for me do let me know what you think thanks for watching and I'll see you next time